Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Tuesday, May 16th, 2023. Alright, let's get started. One across. Ripped muscles? That's got to be your abs. Okay. Big name in nonprofit journalism. Hmm. Uh. Nonprofit journalism. What would that be? In your face. And these quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase. Hmm. It's not booyah, is it? I don't know. Blank Falls Convention. Milestone in the women's suffrage movement. That is the Seneca Falls Convention. Nice, okay. Poet who quoth, Nevermore. That is Edgar Allan Poe. That's the Raven. Big name in nonprofit journalism. Is it the Associated Press? Is it AP News, maybe? Let's see if this is news. Texas City where Dr. Pepper was invented. It looks like that's gonna be Waco. Okay. Formed. Hmm. There's a lot of ways of saying formed. I don't know. Let's get some more crossing help here. Please. And this is a bracket clue, so we need a nonverbal way to say please. Hmm. Maybe that's an eye roll? Yeah, that sounds like a good equivalent. Maybe it is booyah, that's so funny. Uh, would it be an H? Let's see. Formed. Hmm. Maybe it's shaped. Yeah. Photo editing command, that's gotta be crop. Let's see what our first long across is here. This is probably gonna be our first theme answer. Casualness, even though 18 across doesn't mean urgency. 18 across? Um, wait a minute, 18 across isn't even really an entry. I guess 18 across would just be the last part of 17 across? Casualness. Hmm, maybe it's nonchalance? Oh, maybe we've got a theme that's about words that are kind of formulated as a negative, but it doesn't have a corresponding positive word, kind of like being underwhelmed. You can't really be whelmed, right? Very interesting. That's a really fun idea to base a theme around. Nice, okay. Neighborhood in NYC and London. Both of those cities have a Soho. Fiery gem, that's gotta be an opal. Large stringed instruments. So this has to be plural because they asked for instruments plural. So I think this is gonna be the plural of cello, which is celli. <laughs> okay. Once in a blue moon. Advice columnist Landers. That's Ann Landers. Podium speaker. Uh, that would be a lector. We just saw that word a week or two ago. Yeah, that's kind of a new one for me. Stainless metal. That's got to be stainless steel. So we have socials, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok informally. That's right. And open net. Big opportunity for scoring in hockey. Yeah, that's when they pulled the goalie. Okay. Wyoming range. Oh man. Um, isn't there a range called Teton? I'm not sure how to spell it. Let's get some crossing help here. Lazy, even though 26 across doesn't mean active. Okay, so is this indolent? <laughs> yeah, you can't be dolent. <laughs> these are all pretty funny. It makes me want to start using the positive forms of these words. Wyoming range, right? Maker of models S, X, and Y. Those are models of Tesla. Okay. Egotists concern. If you have a big ego, you're just concerned about yourself. Uh, hmm. Man, I really don't know how to spell this. Is it Tetons? 
That might be it. Tell me what you really think. And this is another equivalent phrase. Um, hmm, what you really think. I'm not sure what a good equivalent for this would be. Gotta tell you yet another equivalent phrase. I won't lie. Lost boys, Peter Pan group. All right. High chair wear. That'll be a bib on a baby. Green prefix. Uh, shouldn't that be eco? So maybe this is I can't lie. Yeah. Farm bales. Those will be bales of hay. So this has got to be be honest, right? Actress Fisher of eighth grade. Ooh. I don't know if I know the name of this actress. Hmm. Cooked for, maybe that's fed? Is it Elsie? Otherwise, yeah, that could be else. Else crossing Elsie. Bruins legend Bobby, that is Bobby Orr. Yeah, I'm sure he scored on an open net or two during his time. Result of complete sound cancellation. Wouldn't that be no noise by definition? Drips and drabs. Yeah, that's like bits and pieces. School near Windsor Castle. That is Eton in England. Delighted. And this is wordplay. That's indicated by this question mark here. What we have to do with wordplay clues is look for a punny answer. So this is not about being really happy. Not that kind of delighted. They're giving us a little hint here with this hyphen. It's going to be something that's not illuminated. It could be something dim, right? Very nice. First black Disney princess. I think that was Tiana from the Princess and the Frog, right? Biblical patriarch who had Ha added to his name when he was 99 years old. Are they talking about Abraham? So would that make him Abram? Without the ha? Yeah, I guess so. And it looks like we have a grid spanner here. This is probably going to be part of the theme as well. Flustered, even though 39 across doesn't mean poised. Is it going to be discombobulated? <laughs> That's a really fun entry. We're going to have to try and stay combobulated for the remainder of the solve. All right. Reservoir producer. That should be a dam. Feature of many modern refrigerators. Hmm. Uh, I want it to be something like an ice dispenser. Let's see if it starts with ice. Big name in electric toothbrushes. I think there's a company called Sonicare. Prospective sweetheart say. So this is somebody you're intending on dating? Hmm. What is this? Edible that's been squirreled away. And this is more wordplay, so I don't think they're using this term squirreled figuratively. I think it's going to be literally squirreled away. It's been hidden by a squirrel. It's an acorn. That's a really funny clue. First thing a waiter brings to the table usually. Yeah, that's going to be a menu. Oh, so this is going to be a crush. That would be a prospective sweetheart. Okay. Wrong name. Okay, this is another theme answer. Even though 51 across doesn't mean the right name. Uh, is that a misnomer? Yeah, nobody has a nomer. Okay. So, it's not an ice machine. Hmm. Tex-Mex snacks named after their inventor, Ignacio Anaya. I guess a nickname for Ignacio could be Nacho. I think this is going to be Nachos, yeah. Uh, maybe it's an ice maker. There we go. California Wine Valley. That is Napa. So we have AKA Letters Before a Criminal's Alias, maybe. That's right. Also known as. We have Per, the P of miles per gallon. And you are here, words on a mall map. That is right. 
don't waste your time. This is another equivalent phrase. Um, hmm. What would be a good equivalent here? No big? That seems kind of informal. Mike with the 2015 hit, I took a pill in Ibiza. I definitely haven't heard of this song. I wonder if I've heard of this artist. Dads, that could be pause. It has to be pause plural because the clue asked for dads plural. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to know this singer. Gets up. That's got to be rises. Drivers 180 could be a Yui. Gossipy types. A word for a gossiper is a yenta. So I think this is going to be yentas. That's a fun entry. Warning. Explicit content. Okay, so this is another bracket clue. Sometimes these nonverbal equivalent bracket clues are asking for something that you might see written down. And I think that's what it's going to be in this case. I think it's going to be NSFW. That would be something you'd get in an email or a text, maybe. Yeah. Actress Elizabeth of Leaving Las Vegas. I haven't seen this, but I'm going to guess that it's Elizabeth Shue, just based on that S there. Marvel supervillain. That's gotta be Thanos, right? Dweller Down Under. Down Under is a nickname for Australia. So this is gonna be a nickname for someone who lives in Australia. That'll be an Aussie. Agree out of court. That's gotta be Settle. So we have Oil. Medium for Van Gogh. Yeah, that's Oil Paint. And C, Understand. Okay, don't wait. This is another equivalent phrase. Um, it's going to end in fast. Hmm, I'm not sure about this one. Zen Garden Tools. You need rakes to play with the sand in Zen Gardens. Okay, uh, maybe this is act fast. Yeah, like in an infomercial. Tech site since 1994. I think this is going to be CNET. Heading on a list of errands? It's got to be to do. I have a feeling I might know what our last theme answer is. Let's take a look at this here. Not yet discovered, even though 60 across doesn't mean discovered. Yeah, that's going to be unbeknownst. That's a really good one too. Now all of these new words are beknownst to us. <laughs> Don't waste your time. That's got to be no use, right? Is this Posner? I don't know if I've heard of him. Let's see if that's right. Sushi wrapper. That is seaweed. Okay. Prohibition is a ban. And Che Guevara's given name. It's looking like it was Ernesto. So this is going to be a you, she that may be sheared. Yeah, all right. Well, let's throw this E in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Tuesday puzzle in 21 minutes. Wow, this was a really funny theme. We've got a whole bunch of interesting vocabulary words that sound like they're the negated form of a word, but the non-negated form of that word doesn't actually exist. Yeah, we had nonchalance indolent, discombobulated, misnomer, and unbeknownst. Yeah, on top of meeting the criteria to be part of this theme, these are all really fantastic entries in their own right as well. And there were also some pretty good non-theme elements to this puzzle. I liked Booyah, Yentas, and I liked this punny clue for Acorn, Squirreled Away. And we had some nice equivalent phrases and bracket clues too. But yeah, the real highlight of this puzzle was this fantastic theme. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed solving that Tuesday puzzle along with me. In an effort to remain dolent, I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Wednesday puzzle. Alright, I think that's going to do it for now. I'll see you next time.